Uh, we had a clerical error for number four on the study guide, so we decided to change the problem up a little bit. So we have five radical 12 minus three radical 27. Notice just another subtraction problem. Following the steps that we followed for the addition problem, we're just going to be subtracting at the end. So we need to break down, first off, we have 12 and 27. Those are not the same, so we need to break them down. So that's going to give us 3 times 4, and 4 give us 2 times 2. 3, 2, and 2. So those are our prime numbers. And if, you're not, if you're not up to speed with this, you need to definitely go back and watch uh, some of the videos for breaking down radicals. That's why I'm kind of moving kind of fast with these, because you already know how to do this part. Um, but radical 2, or I'm sorry, the two, uh, the pair of 2's comes out to be just 1, 2, and then we have a 3 on the inside. Now, don't forget about the what. Yes, the Uber driver. The Uber driver is here. you got to make sure he stays with you. Stays with you. If you forget about the Uber driver on the quiz, I promise you it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. You're not going to get it right, and you're not going to be satisfied with the grade you get for at least that problem. All right, so we got 10 radical 3. That's what 5 radical 12 breaks down to. Now let's do radical 27. So that'd be 3 times 9, and then 9 is 3 times 3. We circle our prime numbers. Put it inside the radical 3 times 3 times 3. We have a pair of threes. It's going to come out to be that pair of threes comes out to be just one three. And then we still have the three on the inside. And again, don't forget about the what? The Uber driver. Notice this is a minus question, so we're going to treat it as a negative. And we're going to multiply it as such so that negative three comes down. So you have negative three times three, which equals negative 9, and then radical 3 stays the same. Um, so notice here, our radicals are the same now. Our radicals are the same now. All we have to figure out is what is 10 minus 9? That equals 1. And then the radical 3's will stay the same. And that is actually our final answer, 1 radical 3. Or another way of writing it is just radical 3. They both mean the same exact thing, 1 radical 3 and just radical 3 mean the same thing. Uh, so again, that is a subtraction problem. You gotta know how to break down radicals, um, and then you just combine them because the radicands are the same underneath the radical. If you have questions, feel free to ask Coach Bergdorf, myself, or any of the, any of the other Algebra 1 teachers. Uh, would love to help you out and help you understand exactly how to do this. So again, watch this video again, or come ask us questions. Like and subscribe for more videos uh, soon to come.